Welcome back to Painters Guild. I'm Will Friedle, and thank you for joining us once again on this journey from trying to make me into kind of a little bit better of a painter than I was when I started. We are joined by an incredible artist this time. Uh, I can't even say enough about this woman. If you know anything about this world, you know who this is. This is, of course, Elizabeth Beckley. Hi. Welcome <laughs> all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. And um, you've essentially won every award in the book, uh, kind of, when it comes to this world. Am I right? You've got more gold medals than Phelps did when he was swimming and all that good kind of stuff. Am I wrong? Is it... uh, I don't know how many gold medals Michael Phelps has, but I've got a lot of medals on the mantle. <laughs> See, there you go. But you are here today to help me out, and we are going to be painting this guy right here, right? Yes. Now this is? That's John the Bard. And what is John from? So John is from Red Panda Miniatures, um, and he's also going to be a character in Wander, the Cult of Barnacle Bay, which is going to be a board game. Okay, and yeah. when does that come out? So we're going to Kickstarter in September. Okay. Um, but it's kind of been a thing for the past year and a half of uh, <laughs> in my life. Nice, year and a half, <laughs> so that's, a, lo that's half. a lot of work. It's a long time to spend on a board game. That but, yeah. is very cool though, but all the good ones, you know, take yeah, time. Nothing do. worthwhile is easy, as my mom would say to me. Um, she actually never said that, but <laughs> it's a good message either way. <laughs> So we've got our paints out, we're ready to go, but before we go any farther, I think we need to smock up. Yes. Are you ready to smock up? Yes. Where do we start and how do we uh, <laughs> begin making this little loot right here end up looking like this little loot right here, which is not <laughs> at all the same? So um, what we're gonna start with is, of course, the brush. Um, so you want a nice a brush with a nice tip. I have two here. Um, so it's it's really simple. The first thing we're gonna do is, like I said, we're gonna paint lines on it, so. I'm gonna watch you do one before I ruin okay. mine. <laughs> so it's really simple. So like wood grain, um, you're gonna wanna follow. It's it's just as easy as, there's See, no specific You're setting pattern. it up saying it's easy, which it means when I ruin it, <laughs> I'm gonna feel horrible about myself. So and you just you just paint some lines. Okay, so a little bit on the end of my brush. Oh, for the love of God, here we go. And just straight down. Yes. And does it matter where they go? No, well, you know, up and down, right? Like that? But yeah. Not, just won't make a painter out of you yet. I doubt it, but okay. <laughs> now what now see it's starting thin and getting thicker, is that okay? Um yeah, unless you mess up like I just did. Um, you can start with a little bit of thicker lines. You kind of want to, it's wood grain, so wood grain is naturally sort of chaotic. Thank um, God for that. <laughs> this is why this is a great uh, technique and it's a lot of fun. And just uh, all over the guitar. But make sure that you leave some of the, the base coat showing. See, mine's got all, already got mushed together. No, it's good. Is Look it? At mine. Look at mine. Oh, okay, so it's kind of similar-ish. <laughs> that one's yours. No, this one's yours. No, no wait. Thank you. Oh, See? she can't tell the difference. <laughs> Boom! Boom! That is the last time that will happen today. <laughs> Sweet. We have the back and the front, so don't. I would keep it here, and you can. With and the then side start of your brush. a new line. Yes. So like I did front. here. Oop, that's wrong. Like I did a side. I did a side of my. Like that? Yeah, and you can actually, so you can catch, you can kind of cheat a little bit if I love you, cheating. <laughs> you can use the side of your brush, okay. and you could put a little bit of paint on it, and you can catch the side. And that's actually... Like a, a hard highlight. Yes. It's another technique Learning. to... <laughs> to make it a little easier. As we work our way up, we're going to try to focus in smaller and smaller areas to push our highlights. Okay. But when I flip it around to the front, I continue on the front of the loot the yeah. way you were doing, but with separate lines, not yeah. bringing it over from the other no, side. No, don't bring but it over. But it's still straight up, straight down, all with the same color yes. and all everything else. Yes. Now, okay, so question for you. Yes. How do you, is it just, how do you get into the little nooks and cranny area without so, screwing anything up? Yeah, that's a good question. So a lot of times, so if I was, if I was painting this. Uh, you are. Just, well, just for myself, like the studio miniature that I Oh, okay, painted. right, right, right. So <laughs> I would probably not attach his arm. Uh, I oh, would paint everything okay. 
Okay. And then this arm was actually separate. I had to glue it on. Okay. So I would have left this arm off and, and painted, painted it. this whole loop. Okay, but if you right. buy it like this. So if you assemble it and you're just the type of person that's like, I want it to look good from two feet away on a table for a game. Um, you don't have to worry about it. You don't really have to worry about it. No one's going to be looking at it. But what if you're you sure. and you know you're not going to like that? <laughs> Then you don't paint with the arm <laughs> Real Okay, so it's then it's more or less just leave it alone. Right. I'm still going to try to do a little underneath. You can. I mean, you can tip the miniature up and kind of try to get under there. Again, I don't want to do too much, right? Right, don't do too much. So I'm probably going to call mine done. How's that look? I put the extra line that you yeah, mentioned. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so now we're done with... With the first part of the wood grain, with yes. the old mud part of the wood grain, yes. correct? Yes. We want to create the depth or the volume of it. Okay. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to focus our brightest color up in this area. Because on a 28 millimeter miniature, you're going to have to fake those shadows. Okay. Because it doesn't naturally cast shadows the, the way sure. something that's full scale would. Okay. So we're, we're faking you know our highlights in here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go probably to about halfway. And on this, on the since, front too. Yeah, on okay. the so on the front though, we're gonna. This is going to be catching more light. So right. So we're gonna probably want to pull. You can pull it all the way down, and then maybe to his hand, um, pull some of the okay. the brighter color with with the mm -hmm. taupey one. And you don't have to follow the lines you painted already. You don't. You can okay. kind of as long as you try to leave in some of those darker lines. But not. Don't bring it all the way down. Don't bring bottom. it all the way down. Yeah. So now we said you could bring it all the way down to the. To the f in the front, but don't do the little circle. Right, don't paint the little circle. Okay. Now, we, there are some rumors um, about this character. Who is this character based on? So this character is based on um, Jonathan, my husband. Okay. <laughs> um, Who he, is a tiny lizard bard. Yeah, no, he likes to, he very much enjoys uh, playing bards. Okay. And he also- Like Sam Regal. <laughs> you can pick him out of the, out of the crowd too, because he's this big guy and he's got a uh, bright red mohawk. Much like so. the little mohawk right here, I would <laughs> yes. say. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if I paint him one of these, I will probably make his uh, his little mohawk uh, red on here oh, too. Oh, jeez, that's great. <laughs> so based, that, based on your husband, I love that. Yes. How are we looking? I'm going to pass you mine. Tell me what you think. Don't go any further. Okay. Okay? All right. And... I had a dollar <laughs> for every time I heard that. You've kind of washed out this area, so if you want, you just come back and you can put a couple more lines, not too many. On the front. On the front, right there, on the top of the, right the little here. loops. Yeah. Okay, so while we wait for this to dry, we're going to do another one of our favorite segments, which is mini show and tell. So we're going to see what Elizabeth has brought with her because you brought some pretty amazing stuff, and this is now all from Wander. It's, it's all from it's yes, it's all going to be in Wander. So it's it's a it started off as a miniature line. So okay. we wanted to see if it could work as a miniature line and if people were really into it, and they were. And so we went and we're making a board game, so yeah. Okay, so walk us through some of the stuff. Now, first give us the basic premise of Wander. Okay, so... <laughs> a basic The premise. basic premise of Wander. <laughs> so um, Wander is a campaign-driven um, dungeon, dungeon delve. Okay. Um, and it's based in uh, Barnacle Bay. So okay. it's Wander, the cult of Barnacle Bay. And uh, the evil cult leader Bane has taken over the city and he's turning all the citizens into like fish people. Okay. So, <laughs> so actually um, we have the bear shark uh, Which is here. just really cool looking. Yeah. I, I painted him specifically for the show, so I'd have him done. Really? Yes, yes. So this was originally a bear. He was a bear. He was a bear guard. A bear guard yes. who's been then turned into also a shark guy. Yes, he's a bear shark. Now, is this a good guy or a bad guy, or it depends on how that, you play him? Well, that's a bad guy. I think we'll have optional rules where you can play the bad guys as good guys. Okay. But for right now, you know, you have your basic... We have the wanderers um, and and the hero miniatures that you play as, and you fight these guys. Uh, we have so we have bear sharks, we have fish bat casters, we have um, bunny tentacle bunny zealots. We call okay. them squabbits. Squabbits, <laughs> nice. Squabbits. Squabbits. Excuse me. <laughs> so who? Let's go through some of these now. Are these the guys you can play? Yes. Because this so, looks a little bit like a really savage <laughs> rocket raccoon. <laughs> so that's Roland. Roland. He's okay. a red panda. Um, he is basically the core, he was the first character that our, um, our, our art guy, Heath, 
uh, dreamed up. Okay. So he's the red panda and he's a red panda warrior. Okay, very mm -hmm. cool. And you painted these, I take I it? I painted, yes, I painted all of those. Okay, now who we got, we moved next to? So this is Reyna. She was a add-on character. So she's not one of the original five, but okay. she's a kangaroo, uh, if I can think off the top of my head. I, I can't think what she's, I can't remember the name. They have so many a names. Kangaroo warrior yeah, a kangaroo goddess warrior goddess lady. <laughs> <laughs> who is also in her spare time a CPA, which she doesn't get a lot of credit for. Um, <laughs> except around April when you need her. Um, so again, you painted all of these. Yes. She's not actually a CPA, it's a totally different character. <laughs> and then we've got... Tank, the tank. Tank, it's okay. <laughs> and he's only, ha he, he's Let's so... Let's go streaking! That's all I hear is old school <laughs> tank when I did. <laughs> so he actually doesn't have an arm. That's the great thing about this character. He's not supposed to, or I he's broke it? He's not, no. <laughs> He's no, he's not supposed to. Don't, okay. don't freak out my my artist. My okay, my good. So if you get director. tanked the character, do not call and say he's missing an arm. Yeah, he's supposed he's to be He's supposed missing an arm. to in this, and actually in the game, so they're going to use like magic, and he'll have a magical arm. Oh, very cool. Yes, so he can. That's how he can uh, two hand wield weapons and things like that. With magic, of With course. With magic. So this is Kira. She's my favorite. She's the the assassin thief. Um, Kira's my favorite to play too. Um, she reminds me a little bit of Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl. I can Squirrel Girl, yeah. <laughs> I can see that, absolutely. She's my favorite favorite Marvel character. So. Squirrel Girl is your favorite yes. Marvel character? Yes. Very nice. Yes. And I think coming to the Marvel Universe very soon. She Well, she has her own comic right now, but. Uh, I think she's coming on the show, though. I think she is. You're yeah. going to have to check that out. Okay, mm -hmm. so Squirrel Girl here. Yes. But this is not Squirrel Girl. This is no, Shira. This, this is Kira. Kira, excuse Kira. me, Kira. Yes. Okay, now are these, so far, the four that we've shown, are these all good guys? Um, yeah, those okay. are all good guys. These are all the good guys. And we, we now move on to... Finn the Archer. Finn the Archer, look at this. And he is a wolf? Yeah, he's a wolf. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then... <laughs> we have one of my other favorites is the grumpy old goat, I He does, he just looks like a goat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Get off so, my lawn. So yes, that's exactly how he is. He's the wizard. So he's our squishy kind of wizard character class there. <laughs> okay, now question, because I'm starting to learn more and more about painting these things. Yeah. So did you airbrush any of these? No. None of the, so all of these are completely done by hand. Yes. Now, how many of these involve washes, multiple washes? Um, so I normally, I do some washes at the very start, um, okay. but I normally, I do a lot of glazing, which is another technique. Which we have not learned yet. No, you haven't okay. learned that yet. Um, washes are super handy for tabletop miniatures, um, but I don't use them as much when I'm doing my studio work. So you do mostly what we're doing here. It's very, it's your hand and a paintbrush and yes. you're putting on every single yeah. color. Now, what colors were these primed? Um, so I like to prime gray. Because it's do? a very okay. neutral color. Okay. Um, when I'm painting something called object source lighting, which is another technique. Which um, we have not yet <laughs> learned either. So much I don't know. So uh, when you're doing object source lighting, you might do the two-tone, but I like gray. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. And now, so when can we expect to be able to play Wander? Um, so the Kickstarter is going live on September 5th. Okay. Um, so that will be up, and then after that, it will be available probably within a year. And I was going to say, these are actually av available right now. These are? As a, as a miniature line, yeah. Just as a straight up, and where, yes. where can we get these? Uh, at redpandaminiatures.com. Redpandaminiatures.com, much like this red panda right here, I would imagine. Yes. Very, very cool. Well, thank you for showing us of these. Course. I think we're probably close to getting ready to, to put on our next coat or yeah. next detail. <laughs> put the brush in, the paint thing, and it goes with the stuff. All right, so we are back, and uh, I think we're dry here, right? And we are yes. ready to apply what, what would it be the next layer, the next uh, detail? What would be the right way of well, saying Well, I think it? it's the next color, the okay. next highlight color, I would say. Um, since we're not so much layering here, because we don't have to make a smooth transition. Okay. So we're just, you know, we're painting in this texture. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the handle wood. And now are we gonna be doing the same thing as we've done, just pulling lines going yes. straight down? But what you're gonna do is you're going to concentrate in a smaller area. So you're gonna wanna stay only up to here because like I said again, gotcha. you know, the light hitting it, so the light's gonna hit at the top. Okay. So think of it in, in volumes when you paint. Okay. Yeah. So. And stopping half about halfway down the loop. Yes. No, not halfway. Not halfway. Not oh. even halfway. <laughs> a little less than. Less halfway. than halfway. See? Yep. Glad I asked. Oh. 
I have the wrong brush. Oh my goodness. I know. So like that, does that look good on the bottom of the loop? Yeah, that looks good. See how it looks, it's starting to look more like wood texture. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that myself. Yeah. So, and then the other thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to, again, with the edge highlighting. Oh, right, right, you right. You can catch that edge of the loot right there and really with using pick the, the kind detail. of the side of the brush. Right. Now, I noticed though on the John we had before, uh -huh. you could see the strings, you could do, is that something different or? So, it is something different and it requires a steady hand. We, we can paint the little. <laughs> You heard it too, right? That wasn't just me, the way she kind of said that. It was the nicest, most passive aggressive insult you've ever heard in your life. It requires sucking less than you do. Um, I got it, I wanna try it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's do it, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is yes. if we wanna do guitar strings. Yes, we do, I'm gonna shake it out a little gonna, bit. Yeah. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take that dark color. Okay. And this should work, if I can remember how I did it in the last one. I'm gonna watch you first. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I probably shouldn't try that. You can, you yeah, and you can only get, a, you can try just maybe two. Cause yeah, maybe, his, maybe one of his guitar strings is broken. Right, and then. Oh, that's terrible. Well, I won't shake the table either. <laughs> that's the number one rule, is to not shake the table. Um, since the strings are so fine, um, I actually, I learned this in art school, you don't have to paint the whole string. Um, you can imply that it's there. Okay. Uh, I know that sounds Great, then strange. I'm done. <laughs> <You> can... <laughs> but, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw down, this is the Liquitex uh, Heavy Body uh, Titanium White. Wow, that seems like something that could really <laughs> screw up everything I've done so far. You really don't want a lot of this. Okay. A little bit goes a long and way. And this is for the string? This is for the string. Okay. Yeah, you want barely anything. Wow, you are, yeah, you're. Because we're gonna take that little bit. I'm nervous for you. <laughs> and I'm gonna try. Just barely, just barely hit the top. Do so you think you can do it? No. So you're <laughs> I also just noticed you're a lefty. I am. I'm gonna try not to hold that against you. Okay, that's My fair. wife's a lefty, it's okay. Oh, southpaw. You can kinda, so you can see where the strings would catch the light, just barely. Okay. Okay, up at the top. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little hard to do. You think? <laughs> Let me go back in and perfect. Yeah, it looks great. It's yeah, it's, yeah. It looks like you do this for a living. Jeez. I'm scared. You asked to do this, and I. I want to do it. I want to. I gotta learn somehow. Okay, here. All right. So we take a little bit of the water. Yeah, no, a little we, bit of the water. A little bit of the water. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then. And you're gonna just mix a little bit of the water into the paint. Okay, pull it away and, and notice. Off to the edge. Something like that. Yeah. Um. Let me see. It's always hard to. So almost. It pulls, this is actually the, the how we would make a wash too, kind of. Okay. So you can see that the paint pulls away from itself, just pulls back in on itself just a little bit. And it'll do that more with a wash, so if we're making a wash, but for this, this is about how much, since it's, this is such a thick paint. So does that look about right? Yeah, I think that's about right. You just, and again, you just want just a little bit of paint. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, so there's another thing that I can tell you is, is, <laughs> But first. <laughs> but first. So I've noticed that when I paint really tiny freehand like this, it's all about controlling your breathing too. So like a sniper. Yeah, I guess. So like a sniper, I haven't really shot anyone. So. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> so you breathe in, and then on the exhale, you're gonna it, you use it to steady your hands. <laughs> I won't talk, I, I won't bump the table either. Just up at the top. Did you do it? I don't know. <laughs> you might need I'm some holding breath. my breath, does that count? <laughs> so okay, so you did, so you got in the lines. So you're gonna Is wanna that go good? back, yeah. So you, you wanted to kinda go in the lines and you wanna you want to put down maybe two more, so this is kind of layering. But, but I did, the down, ones that are there are okay? Right, yeah, the ones that are here, you're following your lines, and you want to follow your lines and paint in the same place and kind of layer up 
to that white. So you have a nice uh, color there. So do it again. Yes. Probably two more times. Two more times? Two more times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so now what we're doing so is. So what I'm going to do is I've, take, I've taken the brown because what happened was I actually um, painted over this little thing the right here. The pickup? Yeah. And so we want to repaint the pickup? Yep. You know guitars better than I do. Not well, but I know I think it's a pickup. And that's the thing. So if you paint it outside the lines, you just go in and you can clean it up by putting down that base coat again. How's that for my pickup? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Cool. All righty, so now? So now we're just going to do, we'll take the creamy ivory and we'll do that, the edge highlighting. So oh, you're just, highlighting your pickup. Yeah, I'm highlighting the pickup and I'll highlight the little tuning, the little tuning thing guys up here. So, so look, I'm just just grabbing it on the edge, and that's on the it. Very edge. Yep. Just giving like it some detail. Pain. So <laughs> I think that's what we got for this for this uh, wonderful episode, which I'm going to call to loot or not to loot. Um, <laughs> that, that is, is the, question. the question. That is always the question. <laughs> so that was this is we're getting into much more detail stuff, much more uh, uh, high level stuff, yep. which uh, is why I'm. It's a struggle as we go. But um, <laughs> we are going to have you here for one more episode, I think. So yes. we're going to be doing some more stuff. Yes. But uh, I have to thank Elizabeth Beckley for coming here and, and helping us kind of learn the much more detail-oriented kind of <laughs> steps of the process. And we will be back for our next episode where we're going to continue to work on John the Bard from Wander. And, um, uh, yeah, I can't wait. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. <laughs> and don't forget, uh, uh, you know, as we always like to end every yeah. single show by saying, uh, every great masterpiece started with a single brushstroke. Thank you. <laughs>